I feel very urban today. Oh yeah, the plaid just screams urban. I think I look like a native. How well do you know Manhattan? I've been here a few times. We saw the Bengals here. When was that, 20 years ago? It was a reunion and they were great. Yeah, they're okay. And a couple years ago, mom drove us into shop and she couldn't find a good parking place and all of the parking lots were a total ripoff. So she kept making U-turns and cutting off taxis and we were being screamed at in so many different languages that we just turned around and drove home and bought a Hummel at the Curio store in Star Hollow. How very adventurous. I'm just saying, I'm no stranger to the Big Apple. You are if you're calling it the Big Apple. So I don't have the lingo down yet, but at least I have the attitude. You do, huh? Oh yeah, when I was getting a locker for my backpack, at the bus stop, there was this guy, and he was just standing there, staring at me. And instead of ignoring him, I just fixed him with a really withering stare. Now that I've got to see. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Let me see your withering stare. It's dangerous. I could hurt you. I've been hurt before. No. I'm disappointed. See your arms OK? Yeah, it looks worse than it is. I like this Emily chick. Friend of yours? She's a friend to all of us dispossessed. So here's our lunch place. A hot dog stand? Hey, I eat here every day. It's nothing fancy, but... No, I love it. It's perfect. Good. One with everything on it? Make that two, please. So, uh... How's... Luke? Yeah. Okay. He went fishing. Fishing? Yeah, he didn't catch anything, though. Probably used the wrong bait. Yeah. That's a common fishing blunder. So he's good? Yeah, he's good. I can tell him hello for you if you want. Whatever. Thank you. Oh my god, this is really good. I'm glad you like it. Mm. So how much time you got? I got a bit. There's a record store you should check out. It's run by this insane freak who's like a walking encyclopedia for every punk and garage band record ever made. Catalog numbers. It's crazy. The place is right out of high fidelity. Let's go. OK. Where are you going? Subway. I thought we were going to walk. It's 15 blocks. Come on, I think you'll like it. Do they allow hot dogs in the subway? You are so an out of towner. I haven't even heard of half these bands. I love that about this place. God, Lane would want to live here. Who's Slint? I don't know. Grunge band out of Kentucky. Two albums plus a double A side single disbanded in 94. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. What? Look. The Go Go's. You must have that one. No, for my mom. This was her favorite group when she was my age. And it's signed by Belinda. This would be the perfect graduation present. I've been looking for something all week long, and I couldn't find anything. And now I have Belinda. Graduation? Oh, from college, for her business classes. I'm surprised she has time for anything except lighting darts on fire and throwing them at my picture. Well, it's not a lot of time, but. Uh huh. Go on, get it. She'll like it. Thank you so much for bringing me here. This was fate. I think it was. And in return, I just might show you my withering stare. I'm a lucky man. I think this one's mine. Yep, sign says Boonesville. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you. Which way is 44? Oh, um, that way. Great, thanks. I got asked directions. I saw. He took me for a native, that's so cool. That's very impressive. 44 is the other way. Oh no. Sorry. Oh man, I should go find him. He'll figure it out when he sees all the numbers getting smaller instead of bigger. He still thought I was a native, that's cool. I'm your witness. Well, I should go. Okay. I gotta go to my mom's graduation. And give her Belinda. And give her Belinda. Go on. I'll check on the guy. I'll make sure he's not wandering around looking for 44. Why did you come here? What? I said, why did you come here? Well... I mean, you ditched school and everything. It's so not you. Why'd you do it? Because you didn't say goodbye. Oh. Bye, Rory. Bye, Jess. 